right, for a closer look at the decisions of the Bankers Committee for a Larger Development Economies and senior partner at SPM Professionals uh, joins us now. Paul, glad to have you join us once again. Yeah, thank you so uh, much for having me. What do you make of this new policy by CBN to stop banks from accessing Forex through the CBN and how will it diversify the economy or how not? A lot to think about. <laughs> when you listen to CBN, be a five, ten minutes. As economists, a lot will come to mind. First, when you look at the action of CBN as monetary authority, wanting to diversify the economy by saying that let us change our focus from oil sector to no oil sector, mm -hmm. and that will land us in exports. The question is, how, what kind of good are we going to be exporting? He has mentioned value addition and a few mm -hmm. other things. But how will those happen without the fiscal side? Providing the basics. What are the basics? Power. Mm -hmm. In Nigeria, a population of over 200 million, we need approximately 200,000 power distribution, not generated. It should not just be generated, it should be transferred. And after it's being trans I mean, transmitted, after it's being transmitted, it should be distributed, especially to factory. What do we have today? Less than 5,000. Of these less than 5,000 that we have, those are quantity. The quality of power, that's what many people don't talk about. Go to some factory, they don't even want to use the power that the discos are giving because it could damage machines. Mm. Yeah. They could take it at any time without any prior notice. So people are even avoiding, and businesses, I mean factories are avoiding. Why are we at this point? And why is it that with this policy, we may not see have so much impact with the good intention? In all of in different countries of the world that we've studied, about 106, and for those that have attained some level of development, that have left poverty, penury, and hunger, what they've done is that they put factory first. All policies of government, all align, are to boost manufacturing as component of GDP from 15, 20, 30 percent to about 40, 50, 60 percent. The discussion from the amount of political aid was not about farms, was about factory. Because when the factory are fine, the policy central bank is trying to make, we are lying. But on one okay. hand, central bank government is saying, let us focus on exports, let us focus uh, on, on, on manufacturing, let's focus on factory. The question is, which economy, with what power, with what infrastructure are we going to deliver? Is so, it is a good one, the central bank is thinking along the line that, oh, we now realize that Germany, the largest population in Europe, is known for factory, machines, equipment, mm -hmm. not for farms. America, the largest in North America, is known for technology, manufacturing, production, not farms. China, the largest in the world, is not known for farm, so, is known for manufacturing, so and making the rest of the world to depend on them. Nigeria is the largest population in Africa. Is the world of wisdom, is the path to go, but I'm afraid, again, there is no alignment between the so, fiscal policy, trade policy, and monetary authority. Now, what you're saying is that the CBN is putting the cart exactly. for the horse. Exactly. What is, the, I mean, you've just said power is needed. I was going to ask whether this will finally change, you know, whether this will be the silver bullet to change uh, the trajectory of, uh, you know, moving from a mono-product economy uh, to a non-oil one. So, I mean, take it from there. During President Obama's what exactly needs to be in place now for this to be uh, realized? During President Obama's administration, mm. 100 billion naira was thrown to textile for producers of textile. Are we not producing our clothes? Unfortunately, no. Money is not the only problem that we have. The foundational problem is the uh, environment for production. And the environment for production is not going to be monetary driven. We need monetary policy. So this policy, as good as it is, the aim is good, is great, but where is the environment? Where is the power? So how, how are we going that, to compete? So now I'm going, yeah, going somewhere. I'm going somewhere. Now we want to export, Mark you, mm -hmm. the quality of our production in the international market and the pricing. Who are we going to export to? It's coming at a time where we are looking at African continental free trade agreements. But what will be the cost? Because the world is competitive. We are not the only one in the world. Where is the environment? This is why governments, and I mean at federal and state level, must do everything possible to focus on infrastructure and education, and more importantly, infrastructure, which will come first in power. Mm -hmm. Energy must be available at an affordable rate, especially for factories. 
an industry. And because if you don't put factory first, there's just no way angel of economic development will visit your country. But, but, the the but the government is yeah. even now working on the power thing. I mean, it may not come straight hmm. away. So maybe they're thinking along those lines. But I, this sourcing of Forex from export proceeds, I didn't quite get the CBN, uh, the Central Bank Governor. Can you break it down, how they are going to be able to source even the proceeds from, uh, the, the Forex from proceeds, and maybe how it's going to affect BTA? Okay, mm. so um, well, I don't think this policy will affect BTA okay. of travel allowances. If that happens, you are going to see Naira jump to about 1,000. Because a lot of people that want to travel for official purposes and all of those. But from the example he gave, your customer need $100 million. Mm -hmm. And you want to pack the other and give to one person. Why don't you promote exports as a bank? Bankers and uh, the owner of financial institution have their own challenges. And mm -hmm. one of the challenges, again, is that an economy cannot stand on one leg. You need fiscal, you need trade. Yeah. You need them for us to make policy so that, because they are faced with risks. But isn't Supporting that, isn't businesses that to what produce. the CBN is trying to achieve, to get the banks to begin to put their money, you know, to encourage manufacturers, you know, so that we're not exporting primary goods? I agree, but what I'm saying is that bankers will run their own analysis. Mm -hmm. Before they can give that much to a business, they need to be sure that the business is viable. To start with. So mm -hmm. if you are starting up a business, say you want to start textile, and the price when your Ankara or Abada is out, you compare it with what, they are, what is imported to Nigeria. So is either government put a policy in place that you can only wear made in Nigeria in schools, then that policy has now given a ground for those that are producing. And maybe encourage cotton farmers. And encourage that. So, but if you encourage cotton farmers, how are we going to produce factory? Yeah. So you know, when the factory is functional, the, the environment, the exactly. Well, it, I think it's most aligned for us to have economic development. So anyway, he policy. says he says it's by the end of the year, it's not looks like yeah. it's not happening straight away. No, oh, okay. Right, so, but if we, we, that is what you want to do by the end of the year, and you want the banks to support, and central bank is saying on one on one on the other hand, yeah. and we are not sure. Remember that we have cut away the BDCs. Now you want to cut away the bank. How do you now increase money supply, knowing fully well? that the demand for dollar continues okay. to increase. If that is All not right. done, okay. exchange rate is my fear. What it will be in the coming period, I don't want to be a prophet of doom. Please don't don't be. be. Don't <laughs> be. <laughs> Paul Alaje, <laughs> thank you so much, senior partner, SPM Professionals, for joining us.